So how do we factor a factor polynomial like this? Well, for this particular case, we have a fourth degree polynomial, so we can try the double cross method, which is just a way to break this down as a quadratic times a quadratic. Have a look. Here, look at x to the fourth power first. Break it down as x squared times x squared. Good. Then move to the middle term here, but do not just look at 2x to the second power and say, we need 2x and x. In fact, there's more to that. So I'm actually going to put down some unknown constant a times x, because we don't know what this is yet. Likewise for this, another unknown constant b times x. Once we put this down, we are going to do the first cross, which is this times this and this times that. So let's take ax times x squared, that will give us ax to the third power, and then x squared times this, which is bx to the third power. In fact, these are the only two x to the third power terms. And when we add them, we must get this right here. So from here, we can set up our first condition. Just look at the coefficients. a plus b must be equal to negative 4. as our first condition. Now, we'll come here, look at 12. What times what is equal to 12? We have a lot more choices, right? I'm going to do this one wrong first, because I need to tell you what's the indication that we get a wrong combination. Let me try 2 and 6. Once you put this down, we can do the second cross, which is this times this. That's 6ax, and then this times that, which is 2bx. Similar to what we did right here, this time, this and that are the only two x terms. So when we combine them, we must get this right here. So in another word, the coefficient 6a combined with the coefficient 2b must be equal to this coefficient, which is negative 11. And now we have a system of equations, and we can solve this. But how would we know that if we have chosen the correct number right here and right here. Well, here's the deal. When we are doing factoring questions right here, we have to first make sure that A and B are whole numbers. If later on we don't get whole numbers for A and B, then for sure we know this is incorrect. But sometimes even though you get whole numbers for A and B after you solve the system of equations, you still have to do one final check. I will show you that later. So I will just solve this by elimination. Let me multiply the first equation by negative 2, so I will be able to get rid of the b. So negative 2a minus 2b equals negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. OK, and then combine this and that, we get 4a. Combine this and that, they are just 0. And then equals, combine 8 and negative 11, that's negative 3. But after divide both sides by 4, you see that a is a fraction. That means this right here is incorrect. So now what? Well, just choose another combination. This time, I'm going to use 3 and 4. And in fact, the order right here doesn't matter because both of these are just x squared. Sometimes you have to worry about the order right here as well. By the way, though, you see this times this is 4ax. This times this is 3bx. Do what we did earlier. We will have 4a plus 3b equals that coefficient, which is negative 11. Now let's try the system of equations. I will multiply everybody by negative 3. So negative 3a minus 3b equals negative 3 times this is positive 12. Combine these two equations. This and that is a. This and that is 0, and then this and that is just equal to 1. So a is equal to 1. And put the 1 back here, we know 1 plus b equals negative 4, meaning b equals, after we subtract 1 on both sides, we get negative 5. Now they are both looking good, because at least they are whole numbers. However, we still have to do one final check. Notice we didn't use the 2x squared. Right? Be careful with that. Now, have a look. A we know is 1, so this right here we are talking about 1x. 
and then b is negative 5 so this right here we're talking about negative 5x you see if you just multiply this and that 1x times negative 5x this right here give us negative 5x squared this is not equal to 2x squared what's wrong with that the truth is this is not the only way to produce the x squared term we also have to do perhaps a third cross maybe you can call this the triple cross method but the last one is for the check you do this x squared times 4 which is 4x squared and you do this times that which is 3x squared so these are these three x squared terms that you have to pay attention to that's why earlier you cannot just say 2x squared just break it down as 2x times x cannot do that in fact if you combine all of them negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1 plus 3 is indeed equal to 2x squared so that matches with that that's the final check now we know this right here i'll just put it down here for you guys it's equal to x squared plus x plus 3 that's the first factor and then the second factor is x squared minus 5x plus 4 as you can see we have a fourth degree polynomial and we factor it as a quadratic times a quadratic but we are not done yet this right here is not factorable with real numbers but this right here is so we should continue I'm going to keep this right here x squared plus x plus 3 and then for this right here okay let's just go ahead and put down x times x what times what give us positive 4 and together we get negative 5 negative 1 and negative 4 done so this right here is another method that you can possibly use to factor a 5 term polynomial that's 4th degree that's it